Another big interview on the 947 Breakfast Club. This is big. On 947. Exciting times ahead, Ernest of Van Dam. Yo! Yes, very exciting. <laughs> I wanna, oh, wait, I want to know, who approaches who in this regard? Do you go to, you know, to the Bachelor franchise and say, I'm your girl, I'm ready? Or do they wake you up, you know, on a random Thursday morning and they're like, can we talk? I won't lie, it was a random Thursday morning. I was in bed watching catch up, eating cheese curls. Very much un of me. <laughs> <laughs> And I definitely was on some, yeah, joking, right? Mm-hmm. Like so, trying to hide those cheese curls like somebody could see me. <laughs> <laughs> so how, how long did you think about it? How long did you ponder it before you decided to give it the green light? I mean, first I was like, yes. But then for the whole week after that, being dizzy, being confused. Yeah. I was like, no, guys, they've pulled a prank on me. Like, they're going to call me back and be like, LOL, <laughs> bye fools, COVID fools. I don't know. A new thing. But yeah, I guess here I am. But you, 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 weren't, you weren't doubting yourself. I mean, you said yes immediately. You didn't have a week where you went, oh, I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe, maybe not. I mean, who else is trying to get somebody to date during coronavirus? Not me. <laughs> Or when they were like, girl, don't worry, you don't have to do the DM battles anymore. I was like, yes, okay. <laughs> There's still a chance to find love even during this time. So, so then you deactivated your DM feature on Instagram. You're like, I don't need to hear from these men no more. Yeah, I, I found my own way. <laughs> please find out the way you slithered into my DMs, please. <laughs> so what's the difference in the process you know you know we know you as one of the ladies in the bachelor and now you're going to be the bachelorette you know what's the difference in 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 the process are you part and parcel of picking the guys that are going to be vying for your heart or is it going to be a a huge surprise for you on the day as they get out the limo i mean i'm putting a lot of trust in mnet (laughs) yeah i'm putting a lot of trust in them to really find the diamonds amongst the soil you know um, I am at a great age to be ready to find a vying person mm. and I will be in charge of, you know, deciding on the men when they do arrive, but I'm trusting oh. in them. I have their full confidence. They have my full confidence. Mm. Um, they already know me, so I'm lucky. This is true. But this is like, this is like the perfect situation because... Um, usually, you know, I know every girl and most guys as well have a little list of things they'd like in the, in the, in their partner, right? Realistic, unrealistic. But I mean, this is like the perfect situation. You, you put together a list, you give it to Mnet and they go and find a whole range of men for you that might be suitable. You literally just list the ideal situation for me. So what's on the list? Um, So my list, you know, it's actually... I don't want to let the secret go, but these men are so lucky because I don't really have like a specific type. When I come home with a boy, my mom's always like, okay, let's see what she's going to bring today. Let's see who's going to come through that door. So it's always someone different. They're either like nerdy or quirky. Oh, nice. Or very creative. Or they're just lost in their brain talking about astrophysics or you know, they are just a quiet artist. So my list, basically, it's very short in that one, you have to not be a mansplainer. The patriarchy must fall and you need to believe in that too. Okay. And two, I come from a very diverse racial family. So if you don't understand whom I am and, you know, where I come from and the current climate that we are in, Mm. then it's not happen. So, but wait, yeah. Mark, Mark said that you are emotionally unavailable. It's one of the, it was one of his gripes. I actually think it's the reason he finally sent you home. You know, yeah, you can laugh at yourself because mm. he said it, he said it a few times. So now going into the bachelorette, don't you think that the guys know that about you? So they know how to pander to you because that is the main factor about you is the fact that, you know, it takes a lot for you to warm up. And when once you open, then, you know, it's all systems go. So now they know that about you. Aren't you scared that they know that? I mean, there's so many things to be afraid of, sis. I'm going to be falling in love on national television. 
you know, I'm going to be putting myself, my family, my life out there. I'm pausing my day to day to expose mm. myself. So really, you know, the vulnerability chats, I mean, when we decide that somebody is a certain way, we inhibit their ability to grow and be more in touch with themselves mm. and understand what their faults are and what they can work through. I'm not perfect. Hell. Um, nobody is. <laughs> um, and I've definitely had a great chance to work on myself mm. and improve my ability but there are so many other things to be worried about and that isn't one of them because i've been working on myself (laughs) self-care self-care sundays self-care self-care so when you say you know there's you putting yourself on tv the vulnerability you're falling in love on tv out of your family when you told them i'm going in for the bachelorette who said yes and who said no (laughs) i knew this question was gonna come up First, my mom was like, hi, man, baby, man. <laughs> Why do you have to do these things motivating, baby? And I was like, mom. <laughs> she, I was like, mom, Tinder isn't working. My DMs are slobbering with the slime and the slides, um, which she didn't understand, granted. And, but then she was like, if you feel like this is the best route for you, and you truly fi- feel like you can find someone amazing, then yeah. by all means, my lobby. My sister, on the other hand, the outspoken queen of parliament, she no. was like, ay, 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 ay. <laughs> She didn't even want you going the first time around. Yes, yeah, she really didn't. Hell, she didn't even want me to walk down that red carpet with her at the Sonas the first time South Africa met me properly. Uh. She was like, no, 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 I'm keeping you in the house, locking the door and throwing away the key. But the, the, the credit I can give Mnet is that my sister is very meticulous. Yeah. She does her research. Before I bring a boy home, she already knows everything about their tax returns before I wow. <laughs> wow. My sister is so hectic with everyone I bring home. So me reassuring her and be like, look, Mnet's got my best interest at heart. They already know me. We've already been through a process. Don't you worry. They've got this. She felt a little bit more comfy on some. Yes, they're going to do their research. So I'm going to double down my research. Times research by three. <laughs> multiply it by 100. The research is done. She's going to be safe. Okay. So she's come around now. <laughs> well, she uh, must be as excited as we are about this, uh, you know, this coming up bachelor age. Yeah, we are totally excited about it. I want to ask you just before we get, we're going to play a little a round of a game with you. A Would you rather game? It's our favorite thing to do on okay. the 9 for 7 Breakfast Club. But I just want to ask you, just on a scale of 1 to 10, How excited are you to finally have the power in your hands, to have the rose in your hands? I mean, shoo, with great responsibility. (laughs) Great stress. And (laughs) of course, a girl in power is where a girl wants to be in this new day and age. And also in terms of my relationships, everyone that I've ended up with, I've always been the girl, the one to be like, so are we going on that date yeah. or can I have a number? I've always been that girl. And um, my mom says that, you know, it's really just been a part of my bossy nature since I was a kid. I know mm. what I want um, and I go and get it. So yeah, there will be great responsibility and hearts on the line too. And I understand that. And I empathize with that because I've already been through mm, that. Mm, yeah. I know how it hurts. Those silent tears when it's like, bye girl, you're not the one. Okay. Shall we play a round of would you rather? Let's do yeah. it. I want to hear these answers. Okay. I'm scared. So, We'll start off easy and then we'll, we'll get to one hard one. I think there's one that's particularly hard, but this is the easy one. Would you rather be able to ride a dragon or breathe underwater? Definitely breathe underwater. I, I mean, thought you were going to say ride a dragon. Guys, I can get onto an airplane anytime, guys. Oh, <laughs> okay. Water. There's a whole new universe of things under the water that we haven't even explored yet. And also, the ice caps are melting, so I'm trying to survive. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, second Did one. Second one. Would you rather stay in the coldest part of the North Pole or 
stay in the best weather ever, but with poisonous spiders all around you. Ha, 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 ha. I'm a creepy crawly. I'm a creepy crawly. I don't know if I'm okay with the creepy crawls. So I'll definitely say coldest part of the North Pole. But you didn't say I couldn't bring Bay, so hopefully I can bring Bay with so we can keep warm. You know what I'm saying? Well, once eagerly. that final rose is handed out, y'all can hop on over to the North Pole. Okay, yeah. okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is the last one, and this is definitely the hardest one, I think. Okay, would you okay. rather? Mm-hmm. Would you rather mm-hmm. delete all of your selfies, or, or never be able to take another selfie again? Ah, uh, they can go. The past is the past. Let's delete all of them. Let's start again. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? What? Every day is a new chance to be even be more beautiful than you were the day before. So let's delete. Start fresh. You know? I like that. Do you know what it is for me? The past is the past. Because obviously now that you're the bachelorette, a lot of things are going to come up. No, really. Every, every ex is going to come and be like, yeah, I was there. She was this with me. We're like, Buti, we don't care. I get you, you're not here. The past is the past. We don't care about you. We are looking for new, new, new love here. And this is what we want. We want for people to enter. We want for men who are saying that they've given up on love. And, you know, they can't, they can't do the DM thing. They don't know how to woo a woman we're saying don't worry Amnet is going to make a comfortable situation with an amazing woman who really is eligible and everybody wants her and you're going to get your chance men of south africa here we go Clinice van Damme, she is your bachelorette I, I am your bachelorette sign up guys let's start a journey of love um, and let me surprise my mom with who I bring home as per usual. <laughs> <laughs> Clean, so thank you so much. We look forward to thank watching you so much. on Mnet. I, I know it's going to be a blast and I know you. And please, every week, just bring the hair. I, lo- I love it when you bring the hair. Even you. Yes, you I'm going little... to bring it right now. It's in a mask. I'm going to just mm, preserve hey. it. I'll feeding it. No, but I will. I want you to, to be Nala for us, you know? There is Simba and Nala. I want you to go Nala for me every day, okay? <laughs> yes, so you want to know what? The 947. The 947.